Hey friends, it's Ryan Brown. Happy New Year. Today, I want to give you a quick update on mortgage interest rates. Listen, it's been all over the news that rates are going to start coming down this year. If you have purchased in the last year and a half, you probably have a higher interest rate. Now, they are expecting them to come down later this year, but they have not come down enough right now to refinance. So let's take a look at the rate predictions for this year and let's talk about when it's gonna make sense for you to potentially refinance. So let's look at the mortgage forecast for the interest rates. Fannie Mae is predicting a 6.7%. Now currently, mid-January, we're at 6.7% approximately. Mortgage Bankers Association is predicting 6.1%. Home builder, 6.7. Association of Realtors, 6.3. And the bank rate chief economist is predicting 5.75. Now, nobody has their crystal ball. So you want to make sure you're going to save at least one full percent in interest rate in order to refinance. That's typically the, the break-even point where it's going to make sense for the costs that get rolled into your loan to make it up in payment within a short time frame. So listen, we're going to be reaching out to you when it is time to refinance. So there's no need to worry right now. It's not time yet. The issue is if you refinance now, you're going to probably refinance later this year. In the state of Florida, you have to pay dock stamps and tangible tax and other closing costs. So you don't want to refinance multiple times within a year. Now, there might be some opportunities to refinance if it makes sense, if you need potential home improvements or you need cash out for an investment or other means. There's a couple different ways we can do that. Number one, we could refinance your first mortgage, pull cash out up to 80% of the value. The issue with that is if you have a very low interest rate first mortgage, you would lose that. And now you'd have a higher interest rate for the full balance. That typically only makes sense if you have to pull out a large quantity to do a large renovation or something of that nature. The other option to pull cash out of your property would be through a home equity line of credit or a HELOC or a second mortgage, which is basically HELOC, but it's fixed. It's a fixed rate and a fixed term and a fixed amount of money. The issue with those loans is that the rates on those are higher, typically anywhere from like a 10 to 12%. So they're a little pricey to pull equity out of the property. So if you need any cash out of the property, give us a call. We can run some scenarios for you to see what makes the most sense. But if you're just looking to lower your rate, or if you have friends or family that have higher rates that are potentially looking to lower them, tell them to sit tight probably going to be around summertime or maybe into the fall where rates are going to start dipping. And then that's where we're going to, when it's a good time to refinance. So if you have any questions at all, please reach out. We'd love to chat with you. We can talk to you about some options if you need to pull out equity now or the future options of refinancing your rate later this year. Listen, if you have any friends or family that are looking to refinance this year, please forward them this video. We'd love to help them. Thank you so much. God bless you.